Chapter 2 Legend of the Revolution Shrine for his death? Oh, cat, please stop. Sorry about that. I feel so bad for Masaru. This is just too cruel. My cats, my cat started fighting in the middle of that. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> moving on. He always acted all big and was a perverted idiot, but he was a pretty good person. I remember the time he fixed the air conditioner and even the chairs and tables, too. Wow, really? Um, I was the one who did that. <laughs> anyway, he was a good person. Oh, Lord, why do the good ones always... I should have been the one to die. Might as well. That's how it feels. Like you're trying to hide that you actually think I should have died. Cause no one likes me. Man. Alright, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing each one of these kids must have had like a problem with their parents. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume, since the red-haired one was had like a really bad home with a alcoholic parent, maybe single parent. I don't. Man, this is so bad. I don't think he mentioned anything about his mother. Um, I'm guessing Jotaro here had some parents who were who didn't like him or something. I don't even want to think of what's going on with the pink-haired one. Um, and Lord only knows what happened to this Monica girl. Maybe, like, family broke her legs or something. And, uh... I don't know what's going on with the blue-haired kid. <laughs> I'm sorry I forgot their names already. I just... They haven't appeared enough times for me to remember. Um... And the only reason why I remember Jotaro's name is because it's right in front of me. And, uh, of course, how could I forget Monica? It's, I mean, it's just Monica. How would you forget that? But I agree with you. It would be much better for the hated one to die instead of the leader of the Warriors of Hope. Ah, that reminds me. That's totally true. Masaru was the leader, huh? Wow, what a recovery. What are we to do without our leader? <laughs> oh, Masaru! Oh no, Monica is crying! If that's the case, then allow me to join you! Wah! Oh, Masaru! Why, why, why? I wanted to play with you! <laughs> if only I went first! Masaru wouldn't have died. I'm a useless loser. Oh gosh, now I'm feeling really bad for this particular kid. He feels like he's unwanted. That's sad. And being locked in a bathroom by Masaru is no excuse. It's my fault for being there. I shouldn't have been pooping in the first place. Hey now, it's not as if we're positive that Masaru is dead, right? <laughs> Even though he was so strong, so full of life, now he's just a chunk of meat. Like I said, according to the Monokuma kids report, they did not say he was dead. What? The report indicated that he was captured by adults, and his status is unknown. He wasn't captured by adults. He was... I, I, I'm pretty sure, like... 
I, I'll have to go check back the video, but I'm pretty sure he was captured by Monokuma kids. But unknown? That means he's dead, right? Huh? Think back to those talk shows I used to be on when times were peaceful. Hearing status unknown or unconscious, you knew they're probably gonna die anyway. So is this gonna be a plot point or... Or are they just trying to hand wave a kid's death? That's what I always thought anyway. But, but even so, if we don't actually confirm it for ourselves... Yeah, there's something wrong with, uh, this Monica girl. No, it would be pointless. Our precious Masaru, he's returned to the Earth now. But we should have someone go look into it, just in case. Either that, or... <laughs> or this character's going to have to... <laughs> this character... Clearly this character is acting more of an adult over these other ones. I have a feeling that they're going to out him. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know if this is a dated reference, but there's a show called The Kids Next Door. And when when you became a teen, you had to stop being part of The, the Kids Next Door. Um, and it was like, it's like a thing whenever <laughs> like it, it, you'd have to go see some of the episodes, but basically, there were times where characters were growing too old to be a part of the, the kids' group, and they had to leave. And, except in Dunkarumpa, I think, I think if you're too old for uh, these kids, there's much worse consequences than what happens in the kids next door. Now you've done it. You've upset her. A prince who became a star! What is essential is invisible to the eye! My goodness, you made Monica mad! Oh, Now you're gonna be the hated one, Nagisa. Even more than me. Oh, man. Huh? When the old man died, I, I don't think I followed her her story quite all the way. R right, I understand. It's just as you say. Masaru died. That's just what I need to believe. Well then, now that we all feel the same way, let's say our prayers to Masaru. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Rest in peace, our hero Masaru. You were a grand leader. You worked your hardest, like a real hero should, though you were a coward. Whew, I feel much better now after a good cry. Okay now, let's get back to the game. All right, the fun's not over yet. You want to continue with this? Yeah, I think, I think he's going to be <laughs> He's going to have some problems with this group because they are all in it and he's... he's not. Is it not more important to work on establishing Paradise further? There are other adults around. Nakisa, you don't want to play anymore? Do you hate Monica now because Monica's just so selfish? N no of course not. We're allies and we'll create Paradise together after all. And... Do you like Monica? Where did that come from? I hardly think it's appropriate to discuss that now. <laughs> uh. So you don't like me? L like I said, it's not that. You know, Nagisa, that attitude of yours? You're acting just mm. a little bit like an adult. Oh man, was I calling it. Dang. I didn't think this was going to be a sticking point immediately. I, I thought that was just going to come about later. Wow, we're really just... <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. Is he going to get kicked out now? No, it's too early. 
It's too early for that. I have a feeling it's going to be a turning point later on. Adult? Ooh. You're an adult? D don't be stupid. That's not true. I'll be a kid until I die. I would rather die right now than become an adult. Don't you believe me? Then, do you like me? I... I like you. Man. I gotta warn you, kid. You're into crazy girls. Yay! Nagisa likes Monica! I like you as an ally, with whom I can build paradise. It's not love or anything. Oh, you're lying. Oh, this is bad. Nagisa is burning up. Jotaro, you're our priest. Chant some healing magic. Oh, heaven. Change my words to life. Give mercy to the lost soul. hi -ya! <laughs> Stop that! Don't tease me! Jeez, don't be so mean to Nagisa. <laughs> Nagisa's hair is like part of his emotions. Nagisa, Kotoko, we are all allies here. We need to learn to get along. Nagisa, Monica, Kotoko, and Jotaro. I'm standing right here. You didn't mention me because you hate me, right? That must be it. So let's all get along, okay? Let's have fun hunting together, okay? Yeah! As expected of our Monica, positive as always. I just love that about you. Uh, of course, it's not just that. I love everything about you. Fine. Let's continue the game. I have no further objections. That's our vice leader. Oh, wait. You're the leader now. The leader? Yeah, I mean, that hero guy. Um, what was his name? M Masaru? Well, anyway, our last leader died. So since you were vice leader, you're promoting. I'm... the leader of the Warriors of Hope? I wouldn't get too excited. The last leader died. Yeah, that's right. Air quote died. I have high expectations of you, our new leader, Nagisa. Y yeah. High expectations for me. Good. You're so reliable. I knew I could count on you. She's definitely the oh, one pulling all the Monica? strings. Where are you going? Yep. She's... She's totally the one controlling everyone here. Which is kind of sad. I'm I'm starting to feel really bad for... Well, I feel bad for all of them. I'm assuming that, like, they all came from really bad homes. Hmm. I have a little business to take care of. Bye bye Business? What kind of business? Monica always goes off on her own like that. Prying into a lady's private life? If you were an adult, that'd be sexual harassment. It's this kind of stuff that makes me scared for this girl. Oh, could it be her tummy? Do you think maybe she just has to poke? Ugh, you actually went there? That topic is off limits. Jeez, I hope you die in the worst way. But I heard that... Going to the bathroom once in a while is actually really healthy. Excuse you, but our little Monica does not do number two! You'll just have to settle with mine! W wait that makes it sound like I'm a pervert or something. Oh no! This is such a bother! <laughs> what if my good image is soiled by this? What if people avoid me all the time and I can split them like Moses? Oh, that actually sounds pretty good. Anyway, there's no need whatsoever to worry about where Monica goes. She's not telling us because it's something we don't need to know. Oh, I have a feeling that you guys, you guys want to know. I wonder if she has something to do with Masaru's disappearance. Like, she was, she did something. Yeah. I should remember to just focus on hunting demons. And also to always brush my teeth. Aha! Cheater! I won't let you get a head start. I'm gonna go hunt down demons as well! 
You're right. We should focus. This is Monica after all. This game surely has some purpose. Perhaps it's to send a message to the coward adults that they cannot win against us. Yes, that's probably it. This game can play a vital role in establishing our paradise. Um... You were totally against it a minute ago. Did the power of being a leader go to your head? W what was that? I think so. <laughs> uh, guys, Monica said no fighting. Hey, you guys. Oh, hi. Thanks for waiting. Here you go. Some nice, freshly made milkshakes. You're too late. Monica already left. My sincerest apologies. I didn't know how to make them. And of course, I couldn't look it up. Uh, is this how milkshakes are supposed to look? It's all murky. I'm not certain. I did make sure to add the sugar and the rendered fat. Rendered fat? Did you really intend to make your rulers the warriors of hope drink this swill? I think you'll be the one drinking the slimy thing instead. That's an order. Ah, oh, but how troubling. If I keep drinking it down, I'll feel it filling up my stomach. But if it's your order, Master, I live to serve. I am your servant, after all. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> the setup. <laughs> I, I can't I can't think of anything to add on to this craziness other than that he's why is he doing this? For some reason a completely empty station like this makes me anxious. It's dark and creepy. Weirds me out. And it's not just that. Like I thought, the trains aren't moving. But if we walk along the railway from here, we should be able to get out of the town, right? I... I... I know I keep bringing it up, but that bracelet's making me anxious. I really don't think... There's gonna... There, it's gonna be blocked off somehow. Because they're, they're obviously not gonna explode her. Right? There's no mistaking it, right? I mean, we're gonna be saved, right? Ugh, so noisy. We won't know until we find out, will we? Let's hurry up and go. Let's just run from here. Oh, but actually, maybe it would be better if we pretended like we were dead to avoid attacks. Hey, Togo, do you know how to do a good zombie impression? I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. This place is so dark. I miss the surface where it was bright. Well, it was really only slightly brighter. The train's not moving. Yes, but we already knew that. I was about to say. I know, but to see it in person stopped like this, Makes me kind of down, is all. Jeez, are you really going to get depressed over every little thing? Yeah, you're right. We should just walk along the railway. Then we'll be safe, right? Oh, like I said earlier, we can't know that for sure. Believing a lie so strongly just makes the truth that much more painful. Pop idols aren't virgins. Lottery numbers are fixed. This world is much easier to deal with if you look at it rationally. I think you might have gone a bit off topic there. <laughs> For now, there's no other option than to try, right? You're right. Something wrong, Toko? Are you worried about something? Huh? No, 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 not really. It's nothing. I feel like she's keeping something from her. It's just, didn't I tell you? I'm afraid of the dark. Is that all? There's something else bugging you. Isn't there? Listen, if you have a bad feeling about this, or you can sense some kind of danger... What, do you think I'm some kind of psychic danger detector or something? <laughs> if we're gonna do this, let's hurry up and do it now. We'll have time to think later. The both of us. Hmm? Uh, okay. Let's 
make sure I didn't miss any sp Oh, dang! Why is Toka always panting? I'm guessing that was the only thing? Is that a sparkle? I'm only 16. I don't want to die. I don't get it. I don't want to die. I mean, I'm just 16, you know? I didn't even confess my feelings to Taka, and I haven't seen Grandpa in like two years. And there's still a lot of things I want to do. There's still a lot of people I want to see before I die. No, I mean, those reasons shouldn't even matter. I don't want to die because I don't want to die. And it's obvious that everyone in my family feels the same way, but they died. They got killed. They got killed without a single pause. Like it was automatic. Like it was nothing. I want revenge. I want to do to them everything they did to my family. I want to kill all those damn children like it was nothing. But I can't do that. I can't do anything. The only thing I could do is just hide. I'm so ashamed. I can't even avenge my family. I'm just a coward. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I survived. I should have been the first to die. I didn't know it'd be this dark. I knew it. I shouldn't have come here. Sparkle down here. Kenon Dosu, Kenon Naka, Nakajima. Kenon Dosu, Kenon Nakajima. A demon who's real pretty and doesn't even wear much makeup. A super perverted demon who worked as the manager of a baseball team. When hunting, use a handsome monokuma to make it feel desire for the last time before you kill it. Maybe she was um, the baseball manager of uh, um, Leon's, Leon Kawada's team. We can get out of town from here, right? For some reason, it's getting darker and darker. Shouldn't we start heading back now? Oh, don't say that. Let's just keep going a bit farther. dance work on them? Dance! Oh shoot. It doesn't. They're not chasing us anymore. It sounds like they are. Oh shoot! No, it isn't. It's not even one micron funny. Ow! What? What was that? Something hit my head. It felt like something fell on me from above. What's going on with her eyes? Did something happen? From above? Dash, 
Bombs aren't gonna let us through. Whose kid is this anyway? Uh, really not mine. Just put one foot in front of the other! Right, left, right, left! More Monokumas! They're everywhere! What? Oh, we really gotta trample all of them? Seriously going to collapse? Chill out! All you gotta do is press continue. <laughs> all my coins. If we make it out of here alive, I'm definitely gonna marry Master! Huh? Stop raising your death flag! <laughs> Look, she gave them hairstyles of the characters from the previous one. Oh my gosh. a blessing in disguise because who knows what would have happened if that bracelet blew up I mean I, I can't believe this hasn't been brought up that's the thing that and I know I keep saying it but I feel like why haven't they like kind of acknowledged it that might be the case huh? but even if you can't escape you can still survive all you need to do is face them fight them fight Toko, what are you saying? There's no way I can fight! Don't be so sure! Wait, hold on! Over there! Huh? What are they carrying? TV? What is it? A monitor? Is it some kind of trap again? This creepy little kid. Uh, am I on already? Oh, I was gonna raise the curtain after Kotoko introduced me with the joke. Hey, is this kid with them too? Is he a part of that Warriors of Hope or whatever? Y yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm the 
the priest, Jachiro Kimuri, a.k.a. Lil Ultimate Art. But I'll warn you now, don't say my name out loud. It's a curse. Boy, this voice actor had fun. <laughs> don't mess with me, brat. Take off that mask. I'm sweating just looking at it. No, horrible! If I do that, your eyeballs are gonna explode! Huh? Even I don't want to see that. Someone's eyeballs melting off because of my face. Oh, by the way, do you know? Is it just an urban legend that they use bugs to make food dye? Because, like, wasabi and stuff? With the taste and the color, it's suspicious. You, I'm sure you've heard this before, but you are t totally gross. <laughs> Duh? Gross? I don't know. I think I'm a cheerful kid. Oh, maybe I... I just don't understand what cheerful is. Then I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry. I beg you, forgive me. I'm sorry. E enough already. You're grossing me out. Huh? You don't forgive me? If you don't forgive me, does that mean you hate me? Uh... What? I don't know. I don't follow this kid's logic. Well, maybe not. Maybe you're just teasing me, like boys who tease the girls they like. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are little boy lovers and just want to love me till you go crazy. Even if we were siblings in a previous life, I'd still hate you. What are you trying to say? I, I don't really get it. Well, I can understand that. This is like a yawn, after all. It just comes out of my mouth involuntarily. Nobody can make anything of it. I don't even understand it either. This whole thing is just killing time. Just a distraction from the horrors around you. You guys must be pretty laid back if you're actually interested in what I'm saying. Breaking the fourth wall a little hard there. As expected of demons. I've had enough of this. Goodbye. Oh wait, hold on! I was just trying to be nice. I wanted to tell you something. Tell us what? Um, it's regrettable. But the one with the wristband can't leave the city. Oh, sweet. We're addressing it. C can't leave? Why? Well, you're a target for our game, right? The game isn't fair if there aren't any rules. Everything was already thought out. So that means there's a limit in this game. A limit? Don't tell me. The reason that boy exploded when he tried to leave the town swimming. Huh? D that's not our fault. It's not like we wanted him to blow up or anything. The wristband is made to explode when the user goes outside the town without permission. Well, when I say it like that, I guess it kinda is our fault. Yeah, because you didn't explain the rules. You should have said that in the first place. Bomaro here was about to explode. But some things are better left unknown. I don't say that all the time. It would be better for Mr. Pig if he didn't find out he was about to be bacon. It doesn't change the fact that Mr. Pig is gonna die. So isn't it better not to tell him? Oh, d d don't go acting all philosophical about this. This game's rules are managed way too loosely. You're wrong! This isn't a game! I mean, people are dying! Yuda, he... He died, you know? To call what happened to him a... a game? 
There are some games that require you to risk your life. What do you mean? Hello? Can you not just ignore me? I don't like being ignored. Hey, um, which do you not like more? Being ignored or ghosts? I don't like ghosts more. Ghosts are always cursing people and killing them all of a sudden. It makes me super mad. I don't know how that sounds over the mic. I'm not yawning. I'm just... I'm... I keep letting out air from just this this kid. <laughs> Stop it already! Stop saying things that make no sense! That's right. Just keep hating me. All you have to do is hate me. I'm from the hate planet where being hated makes you feel good. And it's easier to just be hated. I think there are trolls on the internet who would agree with you. Oh, don't worry. I hate gross little boys like you to death. Huh. What you just said? Doesn't it kind of sound like love? If you flip it around? I, I'm confused because I, I thought at first his parent must have ignored him a ton or something like that and that had made him you know this way but then why would why would he like it so much why would he like because because it clearly seems that he's he's treating hate as the same as love so now I'm confused and I'm like did he just have like a completely overbearing parent and he just didn't want to be around them? And that doesn't make sense either. I don't understand him. He's a contradiction. I was worried, so I had to make double sure. That's why I called you guys. Double sure? If you guys see this, you're gonna hate me even more! What is down at the shopping district. And this one, I hunted in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, are you disgusted? But I can't just stop. Making dioramas is like the only hobby I have. So how about it? I put a bad taste in your mouth, so now you hate me, right? Well, maybe you guys aren't affected by this, because you have disgusting hobbies, too. Please, just stop already! Oh, my God. Why do you want me to stop? Be because you're crazy. Because you already hate me enough? Or because you don't wanna hate me. Because it's a waste of time? Because you're tired of it? Because you don't want to be? I mean, I don't know for sure. I'm just a kid. So I don't know what you really mean. Y you How crazy can you be? And if I am, 
Whose fault is it? Definitely 100% squarely on your parent at your age. Well, it doesn't really matter. After all, I have so much fun now compared to before. I should thank Mr. and Mrs. Demons. I want to say thank you for teaching me that I'm nothing but ugly, nasty, worthless filth. So I was right. He did have uh, a par parents. He did have parents that treated him poorly. I live like filth, surrounded by filth, inside this paradise where no adults can get in the way. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, Kamara, it'll be okay. C -c Crying like a kid won't make them treat you like one. <laughs> Are you really going to just accept it? Be their prey? If not, there's only one thing to do. You can't run, you have to fight. Like I said, that's impossible! No, it's not impossible. You have Master's gun, don't you? No, that's not what I mean. I'm not like you. I'm just a normal high school student who can't do anything, you know? You have a- you have that hacking gun! would be hard enough, but to fight? That's impossible. I don't know if you have much of a choice in the matter. And just why do you think I'm here? What? I'm not telling you to deal with it on your own. You better not forget. I'm with you too. T Toko. I if it's impossible to do on your own, well then I guess I have to do it with you. So just a little more. Just fight a little bit more. It's okay to rely on you? Y you've already relied on me. Isn't it a bit late to ask that? You're right. If you have time to apologize, might as well do it outside. The atmosphere here is oppressive. Hey, Toko. I already told you, don't apologize. No, it's not that. Thank you. W what are you being so honest for? It's just... Ugh, gross. So, come on, enough with that grossness and let's hurry up and get outside. Yeah. <laughs> 